last time out, Norris Ring. If we just take a look down here, a very tricky racetrack. Qualifying, my first pole. She's done everything perfectly. Good job, good job. We will see if we can keep the position and then just go. This is going to be hugely exciting. Look out for turn one. Even though it's big and wide, it's not without risk. Fight to visit moves from fifth all the way up to second. The weekend to forget for Alice Powell. Garcia, her lead is incredible. Garcia leads from start to finish. I like the sound of that. The young Spaniard is going to take the win in W Series. Enjoy your time, Imanta. You deserve it. You deserve it. And take out my champagne skills. Absolutely sensational by the 18 year old. Next up, Asen. Race five of W Series. Bytesca's backyard. Pretty much perfect race. See you there. in the north of the Netherlands is home for our fifth and penultimate W Series race. The cars are about to start their formation lap. Ted Kravitz will be in the pit lane, but let's first hear from our commentary team, Alan McNish and Claire Cottingham. The stage is set for the penultimate W Series race of the season. Round five, and we've come to the famous Assen TT circuit in the Netherlands. Plenty of history around this circuit, officially opening back in 1955. You may know it as well for two-wheel motor racing with its fast and flowing sweeps and long, flat-out straights. It is a circuit that means small mistakes can have a huge loss of momentum and track position. Well, mathematically, Jamie Chadwick can win this championship, but it would mean a bad day in the office for the home hero, local hero as well, Bytesker Visser. Alongside me in the commentary box this weekend, three-time Le Mans winner, former F1 driver, now uh, Formula E Audi team boss, and Alan the Sun, Alan McNish, now Alan the uh, Sun is shining. Yeah, as they start their warm-up lap, we were predicting heavy rain as we had earlier on in the day, but it's amazing how the suns came out and dried up the whole circuit, and so it's going to be a very, very different race, especially as Alice Powell was saying earlier on. Her and the pole sitter, Emma Kimmelainen, have got nothing to lose. Behind, though, uh, they've got a championship battle to take out and so therefore I think we're going to see a very different dynamic between the first two rows of the grid. Well let's take you through the grid then. Starting on pole position, her first pole position in the W Series, Emma Kimmelainen alongside her Alice Powell and her best pot qualifying of the season. She'll be desperate to score some points after two back-to-back -back DNFs. But the championship could be decided by the second row. Jamie Chadwick heads into this race, leading the standings by 10 points, and she wins this and driver alongside her. Bytesca Visser finishes fifth or lower. Chadwick will win the title today. Next up is Caitlin Wood, in the best qualifying of her W Series career, alongside her is Tasman Pepper. In seventh and eighth is Fabian Volvent and Marta Garcia, who won last time out, still with a chance mathemati mathematically of winning the title. Ninth is Gosha Rides, tenth is Sarah Moore, who had a five place grid penalty. Eleventh is Jessica Hawkins, twelfth is Vicky Piria. Mickey Koyama starts thirteenth alongside her is Sabra Cook. Esme Hawkey, who struggled in qualifying, starts 15th. Naomi Schiff is 16th on the grid. Megan Gilks returns to the grid in 17th. And after putting it in the gravel during qualifying, Shea Holbrook rounds up the top 18 drivers. So the championship could be decided today. The final cars line up at the back. Megan Gilks and Shea Holbrook with the safety car behind. Last car in position. Let's watch that green flag man. Front is Emma Kimmelainen in her yellow livery, alongside her Alice Power on the purple. And it's the two white cars where the championship could be decided. Bit of pointing as we wait for the green flag man to say we're all ready to race. There looks like a car that's not in position. But the green flag has gone. The lights will go out shortly and this race will be underway. Emma Kimmelainen is on pole position and it's a bad start for Emma Kimmelainen. It's a brilliant start by Jamie Chadwick. Alice Powell looking to see if she can make it work into turn one, but actually not sure she has. Jamie Chadwick's gone up to third place. Alice Powell looking to see if she can get the lead of the race and she has, has taken the lead into turn two. And actually we're seeing Emma Kimmelainen go further back and there's a crash at the back, but it is Alice Powell who leads this race. 
Yeah, she had a really good launch off the line, got down in the inside and was able to deliver it all the way through to turn one. That's where she really needed to do because now Powell's got the focus forward clean as Koyama is out of the race. Left front suspension and a safety car. Tan Tasman Pepper was the other car involved in that incident, spinning at turn one, but Koyama is definitely out. Tasman Pepper, who started sixth on the grid, and Koyama's had a big hit there, so not going to be happy at all with that. Safety car comes out and picks up the cars, and they all go down to the same with 29 minutes on the clock. Alice Powell then, a brilliant start from Alice Powell, and it was Emma Kimmelainen who was quite slow off the line, actually, Alan. But I saw Jamie Chadwick was really, really fighting to see if she could get past. Bites Gavis has not had a great start, actually, with Caitlin Wood able to get past her. Obviously, with yellows out and the safety car out, they cannot change position. There's no overtaking as the marshal just to make sure that uh, Miki Koyama is OK. Yeah, Koyama was basically, she was on 13th on the grid and she's collided somehow with Tasman Pepper by the looks of things, which uh, really Tasman was in 6th on the grid. As you see the launch again, Powell gets a good one, but it's Chadwick through the middle, but she can't go anywhere as he squeeze across. And now it's Powell that's looking down the inside, as you see behind Tasman Pepper in the red car and the inside completely on the inside, just gets locked into something there. And uh, then there's all the action behind. So the crash just at the back there, it looks like there's a spin for Tasman Pepper and Mickey Koyama just actually drives into the spinner. I assume... And she gets tapped from behind, yeah. I think, clear there. And uh, that means that she spins around and Koyama just runs into the back of her. So kind of innocent. That's the reason that Koyama, 13th on the grid, hits Pepper. But it was the car directly behind Pepper that seems to have just given it a little bit of a nudge at that first corner. See if we can see here, there's Tasman Pepper getting turned around Garcia. by Marta Garcia. So, Marta Garcia was the one that tapped Tasman Pepper, spun around, and as she was spun around, as we see, uh, quite a few of the drivers trying to avoid action um, of banging into Miki Koyama there. The investiga it is under investigation, the instance between uh, Car 85, which is Miki Koyama, and Tasman Pepper. So we'll see what happens there. I'm not sure, Alan, what they would do really with that one. Well, looking at it, uh, it doesn't really matter. No in further fact, action, that, apologies. But now you've got Koyama who's out of the car. Car still needs to get lifted off the circuit. Safety car still continuing around. With the safety car on track, let's join Alan McNish to learn a little more about a key part of the Assen circuit. From the hairpins of Norris Ring, we come to a completely different style of circuit, more well known for motorcycle racing. However, on cars, it's got the fastest corner of the season, over 150 miles per hour, and the average corner speed is about 90 miles per hour. And that requires a different feel for the driver and also for the car as well. It's about flowing momentum through all of these sections. This is the final chicane, one that will definitely test the drivers because of this as well. These aggressive curves. And the trick is about making sure you let the car float through the corner and maximize your minimum speeds. Tasman Pepper now is into the pit lane and there's a little bit of damage to the car where uh, Koyama has nosed into the side pod and rear wheel area. So Tasman Pepper comes into the pit lane We'll see exactly what she has changed, but might be a front nose cone. How are you feeling? Is the car okay? Marta Garcia there being asked how she feels. Is she okay? So it looks like Tasman Pepper is out of this race, retiring. As Miki Koyama speaks to one of the marshals. Uh, Ted Kravitz is in the pit lane for us. Uh, Ted, you got an update? Yes, Claire, down here at uh, Tasman Pepper's car, they're just taking a look, seeing if, uh, if the car is actually fit to rejoin. It doesn't look great at the moment, I'm afraid to say, for the South African driver. The mechanic's just pushing the car away. And uh, as Miki Koyama gets checked out, just to make sure she's OK, I'm afraid to say it looks like it's the end of the, uh, the race for Tasman Pepper. It's Alice Powell leading Emma Kimmelainen under safety car conditions here at Assen. Championship leader Jamie Chadwick rounds out the top three.
Welcome back to Assen in the Netherlands for the fifth round of W Series. The race is running behind the safety car after Mickey Koyama and Tasman Pepper came together at the first corner. Koyama got out of her car nursing a sore hand, but both drivers escaped any major injury. The car now has moved out the way, so I would suspect that the safety car will be in next lap and we'll resume racing. Keep an eye on those lights and see when the safety car lights go off. Well, usually they go off at the far side of the circuit. They're about half a lap away from where the safety car lights would go off and would indicate that we'd go back to racing. So Alice Powell leads this race behind the safety car. Once those lights go off, we start racing again. So Alice Powell and pole sitter Emma Kimmelainen just behind her. Championship leader Jamie Chadwick is third as it stands. Caitlin Wood is fourth. As we see Tasman Pepper speaking to her engineer. Baitska Visser, the title contender, is fifth at the moment. She needs to do better than that to make sure she keeps her championship hopes alive. Gorsha Redest is sixth. Fabian Volvend is seventh. Eighth is uh, Jessica Hawkins. Ninth is Vicky Piria. Safety car is in this lap. Tenth is uh, Marta Garcia. Sarah Moore, eleventh. Hawkey, Cook, Holbrook, Schiff, Gilks and Pepper is out of this race. Just to let you know, uh, in front of you is Kimi Nainen, and behind you have Wood and then Peter. Make sure uh, you make a good restart. Jamie Chadwick there being told to make sure she has a good restart. So, safety car is in this lap. And she'll need to make a good restart as well as now. We've got about half a lap to go because Caitlin Wood is having a really good run here and Visser will want to make up for lost time. At the same point, Resist, she came up to six from ninth on the grid, so she was able to take advantage out of that melee. So the safety car will pull away and watch that car at the front. Alice Powell, as she starts to push them up, starts to back up the team before she goes and she's on the throttle. So Alice Powell restarts this race and it's a good restart, but Emma Kimmelainen is quite fast behind her, but it's Jamie Chadwick who remains in third as they blast past our commentary box. Now it's still Jamie Chadwick in third place, but behind there's uh, not a lot of movement as the gap really starts to pull out now for, from Emma Kimmelainen and Jamie Chadwick in second and third. Caitlin Wood remains fourth. It's Bytska Visser though. There's a move going on just a little behind. Could couldn't quite see as Caitlin Wood. It's still Baitska Visser who is fifth at the moment. I think it was Gosia Rodes and Fabian Volvent. And we'll wait for it to kind of shake out. But it's Baitska Visser who's going to need Alan at this point to try and get past Caitlin Wood. With racing well and truly back underway here at Assen, it's Britain's Alice Powell leading Finland's Emma Kimmelainen. Welcome back to Assen. At the front, Alice Powell leads from Emma Kimmelainen and Jamie Chadwick. Here you've got Wood and Visser. Now this is a real train, so the first three have pulled away just a little bit, a tiny bit of breathing space, as now they're sort of fanning out, coming into the very fast 95 miles per hour chicane, and then into the turn 10, which has caught so many people out by running wide. But Wood has got Visser all the way through her mirrors and then resets in sixth position behind. 22 minutes left on the clock. Alice Powell is leading this race. Caitlin Wood is starting to back up that pack a little bit now. And Bytska is going to start looking to see where she can uh, take that car. I'm not sure where she's going to do it, though. Where? Where? Because Caitlin Wood has looked quite strong this weekend. She's looked very strong. There's really two overtaking opportunities where you can clearly do it. One of them is after the 150 miles per hour left-hand kink into the final chicane. They're coming up to that now. And the other one is into turn one. But you really need to have a little bit of help, I would say, from the person that you are overtaking. And I don't think she's going to get that at the moment. Drive-through penalty for Sabra Cook, an accurate grid position. So we mentioned at the beginning of the race, someone didn't look like they were in position. And it was Sabra Cook who was going to come through for drive-through penalty. Baitska is getting closer to the back of Caitlin Wood. Can she get past and keep her championship hopes alive? We'll have to keep an eye on that battle. She's really, really closing it in now. And that's a car going very slow. It looks like Shea Holbrook, who started in 18th position. I think it is. Yeah, and, uh, Shea Holbrook. She, 
and she was uh, she's going slowly she's got a problem as she'll make her way slowly back to pits the front wing is damaged and uh, so she's making her way back round but at the front you've got Powell leading Kimelainen and Chadwick Keep an eye on that fourth car. Caitlin Wood bites Gavissa. Is going to see if she can find any place around this circuit to get past. She's got to get past Caitlin Wood for the points here. If Jamie Chadwick remains in third place, her championship hopes could be over. So we need to see, because Jamie Chadwick needs to get past Kimmeline and get past Alice Powell. If she wins, it could all be over today. So what can bites Gavissa do from this point, Alan? Well, she has to do it pretty quickly there, Claire, because at this moment in time, she's 3.8 seconds off the lead of the race of Alice Powell right now and that gap between Powell, Kimmeline and Chadwick is actually moving away from her and Wood ahead of her so she really does need to get a move on if she's going to be on the podium for this event I'm not quite sure she's so much quicker at this moment in time than Caitlin Wood hence the reason that she's just able to sit behind 20 minutes left on the clock. Alice Powers lead it, leading this race at the moment. She complained about this car coming into this uh, race and she was worried as it's a car that's not done her too much uh, good recently as that gap has really closed now. Fabian Volvend has had a bit of a issue there. She went over the curbs, didn't she, Alan? And she's broken the right front part of her wing there by running wide oh, sorry, as she comes down into turn one. Bites Gavissa looks so close to going past Caitlin Wood then. My apologies, Alan, but it looked close. Looked like she was going to take her into that beginning at turn one, take, trying to take her going into turn two, but she's not quite close enough. Well, she's got to be very, very decisive when she does it, but behind her, Volvend has got a problem with her front wing and now Jessica Hawkins, the third car the black car on that train is trying to get past Volvend. You can see the front wing. If we see it again, as there's a puff of water coming up from uh, the kerb, then uh, it's damaged on you know, in both sides. Actually, that front wing is in a dangerous position. She'll lose downforce, but also if it comes off, then it will go underneath the car, lift the front wheels off, and then she'll be out of control. Frustrating for Fabian Volven coming into this race. She was still mathematically able to win the championship if it was a bad day in the office for three other drivers as Bitesco Vissa has visibly closed that gap to Caitlin Wood. And then she makes a little move on the inside of the circuit, looking to see if she can do it. Can she do it? This will be huge for the championship. And she's done it. She's up into fourth place. She takes it back from Caitlin Wood and keeps the championship alive. Well, she overtook there into a corner where they say you can't overtake. Very, very decisive. I mean, she knew she had to do it quickly to get the job done, to give herself a half a chance. As you can see, she just, at the last second, dies to the inside, doesn't give Wood an opportunity to come in, and then the job is done as she flicks right into the next one. Very, very good overtaking by Beitzkevisser. So how does it leave it now? Well, Chadwick's got to win if Visser remains where she is, as we see Fabian Volven just going over those uh, bumps again and, and losing a part of her front wing, but... All eyes on the championship now, as you see the replay, Alan. Yeah, it looks like Rezes didn't actually accelerate out of the corner as quickly as Volven suspected, and she had to move out the way to avoid an incident more than anything else. However, that front wing is completely damaged, and so that's uh, going to be Volven into the pits. Well, Fabian is into the pits then. Beautiful. Keep going. That's her engineer, Amelia Lewis, giving her a little bit of encouragement there for Bites Kavissa, explaining to her in a not so many words that she's also just managed to keep the championship alive. And she's also done the fastest first sector. And so therefore, Visser is really on it. She's running cleanly and she's dragging wood behind her now. Alice Powell leads 17 minutes to go on the clock. Kimilainen is second. Third is Jamie Chadwick. Fourth is Bites Gavissa. If it remains like this, if it remains like this, Alan, the championship will go down to the wire in Brands Hatch no. in a couple of weeks' time. I think it definitely will do, but I think there's going to be a lot of things to happen yet because Emma Kimmelainen is now looking at the back of Alice Powell coming into the final chicane. Powell was able to get the start off the line, led into the first corner and muscled her way past Kimmelainen, but now Kimmelainen is had her sights very much set on the back of Powell. But look how much they've pulled away from Chadwick and then Visser catching very quickly on Jamie Chadwick on the last lap. Chadwick was seven tenths of a slow second slower than Visser. Emma Kimmelainen will really want to see if she can get past Alice Powell because she started on pole position. Ted Kravitz is down in the pit lane. Ted, uh, Ted um, you've got an update on Alice for us. 
Yeah, no, so uh, Alice Powell having to defend like crazy very shortly from Emma Kimmelainen, who's absolutely flying. But uh, Baitska Vissa's engineer willing her charge on because if she keeps up this pace, you're absolutely right what you're saying, guys. A 135 for Vissa compared to 136s for the top three. She'll be right there with them by the end of the race. She will indeed. We'll keep watching this battle, of course. The battle for the championship as it stands is just there. Jamie Chadwick would be leading by 98 points, but Beitzka Visser would have closed the gap to 85 points and Marta Garcia on 62. Alice Powell would move herself up to fourth as Fabian Volvend had to go into the pits and have the front wing change. So her race is effectively over in 15th at the moment. Shea Holbrook also out of this race as well as uh, Tasmin Pepper. 15 minutes left on the clock then. The penultimate W Series race of the season. Alice Powell leads. Emma Kimmelainen closing that gap. See if she can get past. They've really put a, a quite a big gap now between uh, third and fourth. Keep your head down, Jimmy. Good exit. Driving style. At the midway stage in the race, it's still Alice Powell leading from Emma Kimmelainen and championship leader Jamie Chadwick. Welcome back to Assen, and we're into the halfway stage of the race. Contact between Gosha Radest and Fabian Volvend meant Volvend had to pit for a new front wing. Out front, Alice Powell is leading, but is coming under increasing pressure from Emma Kimmelainen. Beitzka Visser is putting in a fine performance, moving up to fourth to keep her championship hopes alive. So, 14 minutes left on the clock, and then it looks like this one's really going to get exciting now. Yeah, it is. It's, I think this is really going to be the battle because the one thing about Visser was when she overtook Wood before, it was extremely decisive and a part of the circuit that I honestly didn't expect. And so she can take by surprise. She now knows she can do it once. She's been able to catch very quickly up to Jamie Chadwick. Chadwick looks to be struggling generally, I would say, with the grip because she's dropped a long way behind Powell and Kim Line and she's now 4.6 seconds off Powell. But her her view now is looking in the mirrors what is going to happen behind her with Visser. Half a million dollars is the prize for the winner of W Series. And it's one of these two drivers as it stands that looks to take the crown as Beitzka Visser makes a big mistake there. She's going to lose a lot of time on that, Alan, isn't she? Yeah, she lost a bit of time. She was basically, it was also the, the wet part of the kerb as well, but she was very fortunate that she didn't do any damage to the front wing. That's what we saw happen earlier on to Volvend, and Volvend damaged the front wing from it. So she's got to be a little bit careful with that. However, she's clearly quicker and she's on the attack. That's the positive point. She's on the attack. 13 minutes left on the clock. Beitzka Visser closing in on Jamie Chadwick, the championship leader, the title contender, just behind her. Sector one and two are very good, Jamie. Head down, head down. Head down, head down is the message from Jamie Chadwick's engineer. Ted, you got an update? while we watch the two championship leaders interrupt if you have to Claire but uh, there's a great fight for 6th 7th 8th and 9th and Jess Hawkins has actually dropped Vicky Piria in 8th at the moment Piria dropping back a little bit and Hawkins is closing up on uh, Gosia Radest for 6th great stuff from uh, the English driver Jess Hawkins that's an interesting point Jess Hawkins has struggled uh, in races and very well in uh, qualify in practice rather so it'd be good to see her getting uh, some points coming into the penultimate race and Claire yesterday she was fantastic especially in this section of circuit that we see Visser and Chadwick coming to now the fast left hand and then the final chicane and she was really on it and it was a surprise to me to be honest with you that she wasn't able to qualify higher than she actually did and so therefore uh, it's really Hawkins returning to where her pace showed as opposed to a surprise in the race 11 minutes left on the clock, just over 11 minutes. Alice Powell is leading in this car that she's had two back-to-back -back DNFs with. 
it's going to be interesting to see how what Emma Kimmelainen can do from here. Because, Alan, we must remember that Emma Kimmelainen hasn't been in two of the races. She raced around a couple of laps at Hockenheim. She had, um, as she sets the fastest lap now, and she um, had a crash with Megan Gilks and then wasn't able to race for two races under, under doctor's orders. Came back, finished fifth last time out, so we've got some points. And now here she is, pole position and, and second. Yep, pole position, her fastest lap, four tenths quicker than Powell on the previous one. Now Visser and Chadwick are basically running at the same sports of speed, which is slower than the first two. So Visser does need to get that done. However, Hawkins, as we saw there just a second ago, was right on the back of the Zets. It's going to be very interesting to see what Emma Kamalainen can do here. Alice Powell is one of the most experienced drivers on the grid, and she's going to defend hard to get this win, because like I said, um, I think we spoke about quite a lot in the last race. She had quite the, a torrid weekend is, is probably the best way to uh, to say what that weekend was like. So Alice Powell leads, Kimmelainen in a second. Jamie Chadwick is third. The gap has closed now between Alice Powell and Emma Kimmelainen. It's going to be battle of the tyres at this point, isn't it, Alan? And it's going to be the battle of the bravest and who doesn't make a mistake. And certainly for Powell, as it's now very close coming down out of the final corner towards the first. Not quite close enough. Emma Kimmelainen looks to the inside of the circuit. Can she do it there? Alice is very, very late on the break. She makes a mistake, though. She's gone off the circuit. Emma Kimmelainen is going to take it back, is she not? They're side by side. Emma Kimmelainen's got a nose in front. And Alice Powers had to go down to second. Emma Kimmelainen has taken the win back. She got pole position, and she's back in front. Yeah, Emma Kimmelainen just stuck her nose down the inside a little bit much, distracted Powell. She wasn't able to get to the apex and then ran wide. Once she was on this slippery curve, that took her right out, and that was a gift in reality. As you can see, she stuck her nose down the inside. Powell hesitated a little bit, didn't cut the curb, ran wide, and after that, it was Kimmelainen that just went straight through, and it was a block pass into the lead. So now, the interesting point is, can Kimmelainen pull away from Powell? Bit Alice of a Powell bumpy jumping ride there over for the Powell. bumps there. Sorry, Alan, uh, Alan, uh, Alice Powell just jumping out. That's going to hurt her as well, isn't it? We've talked about these bumps before. I think what's going to hurt her is the fact that she made a small mistake <laughs> and she's now down to second. And already Kimmelainen has actually stretched the lead and pulled away from uh, Alice Powell, who will not be able to retaliate. However, Baiska Visser is right on the back of Chadwick and Visser will need to do something very similar just to try to harry Chadwick into a mistake. Chadwick, though, doesn't make many mistakes as what I've seen this season so far. Two huge battles happening in W Series for the race finale next time out in Brands Hatch. We're going to keep the championship alive, so make sure you join us for that because Brands Hatch is going to be pretty amazing at this rate. Jamie Chadwick is the championship leader. Baitska Visser, the home favourite, is in fourth at the moment, and she's closed that gap a little bit to Jamie Chadwick. At the front, Emma Kimmelainen has taken back the lead. Alice Powell is second at the moment. That battle's going to continue to the end. We've got eight and a half minutes left on the clock. With a third of the race left to run, it's still Kimmelainen leading from Powell, with Chadwick vying for the final podium position. Just a handful of laps left to run here in Assen and at Emma Kimmelainen out front and set for her first win in W Series. There is half a million dollars on the line. If Jamie Chadwick can win today, she will pocket that and as well as that, the trophy of the inaugural W Series title. But as it stands, it's not going to happen, Alan. Yeah, a bit of racing still to go, uh, but certainly one person. Kimmelainen now 1.2, over 1.2 seconds away from Alice Powell, so she's basically ran off into the distance. And this is the battle that I'm really interested in. Chadwick Visser, not just for the final place on the podium, but how that will interact with the championship. And then it'll bring it into a very different dynamic when we go to Brands Hatch in a few weeks' time. So Jamie Chadwick must win if Visser stays in fourth. That's how it works. That's how she can win the championship. 
That's not going to happen, I think, at the moment. But now Visser's very close, coming down in towards the first corner. Is she going to look to the inside? No, doesn't quite have enough pace to be able to achieve it. The Dutch fans will be pushing her on, though. Inside, she'll know it's Chadwick. She'll be getting the information it's Chadwick. She will see the back of the, the car now, and she knows where she's quicker, knows where she's not. But she just has to make that clean-cut manoeuvre in the same way that she did with Wood earlier on in the race. So Visser needs to remain in fourth to keep this championship alive. Jamie Chadwick is in third place at the moment and very importantly Alan Beitzka Visser the home favorite is still in force Emma Kimmelainen leads round here six and a half minutes left on the clock as it stands we're heading to Brands Hatch for a finale for a season finale to see who will be crowned the W Series champion Emma Kimmelainen up here lap 13 we're on right now and Visser running a little bit wide but Kimmelainen is now just pulled away two over two seconds from Powell. Uh, Visser, though, is still sitting there. She's now started to lose a little bit of the grip of the tyre, running a touch wide, coming off the kerbs. We heard earlier on that Chadwick's engineer was saying, get the exits correct, get the exits correct. And that's certainly worked for her, because now I think the main charge from Visser has actually dissolved a little bit. Just And she needs to try to get herself back into line, try to make one final attempt with five and a half minutes and plus one lap still to go. Fabian Volvend is out of the championship battle then she's down in 15th after damaging her front wing elsewhere Marta Garcia is in ninth she also could have taken the championship to Brands Hatch coming into these, this race however it looks like both those drivers are out and it looks like it's just between these two the Brit versus the local Dutch hero Beitzka Visser so five minutes left on the clock Ted you're in the pit lane as close as ever. I've just spoken to Bites Kavista's engineer, Amelia Lewis, uh, just uh, on Sir Common from McLaren, actually, down here. And she's just keeping her driver in touch. She says that the life of the tyres between Vista and Chadwick is very similar. So there isn't any benefit. Vista doesn't have younger tyres or anything like that. So she's just going to have to either wait for a mistake from Jamie Chadwick, which, as you say, guys, Chadwick's shown no sign of doing, or just try and get past on pure pace. Ted, that's incredible news. That's that's really interesting to know. What's the atmosphere like down there? Just a just a quick thought. Uh, tense. I mean, they all know this is for the they all know this is for the championship. But Jamie's just doing enough, isn't she? Just doing enough to keep control. You might have thought maybe Jamie has the points advantage. She might want to jump out of the way and let Beitzka Visser go. But that's just not how she works, is it? Well, they share data. They share engineers. They share teams. They share cars. There isn't really anything they don't share in this. However, I don't think Jamie Chadwick or Bites Gavissa are going to want to share this championship title, are they, Alan? No, they've both got their kind of hand on the trophy and a hand on the third place in the podium at the moment, but there can only be one winner. That's the way that motorsport is, and you've just got to try and make sure you can do it. But Visser needs to really get on the attack, or it's going to be a much easier run into the flag in Brands Hatch for uh, Jamie Chadwick that's sitting there in third. As it stands, the championship will go to Brands Hatch, the final race of W Series for this season. Uh, just to let you know, if Chadwick wants to win the championship today, she's got to win the race, and Visser has to finish fifth or lower. So as it stands, the championship does go to that final race. Emma Kimmelainen is leading here. She's going to become another win here. She will jump up to sixth in the championship if she can get this win round here. Alice Powell at second at the moment. She'll jump up to fourth. Jamie Chadwick is third on track. Mark Beitzka Visser in that important fourth place that she needs to keep this championship alive. Uh, Caitlin Wood, fifth. Gorsia Rodesta, sixth. Jess Hawkins, seventh. Eighth is Vicky Piria. Uh, ninth is Marta Garcia. And still rounding up the top ten is Sarah Moore. Elsewhere, de, um, further down, Hawkey, Schiff, Giltz, Cook and Volvend are the top 15 still running. And uh, Tasman Pepper is out. Holbrook is in 16th. Just a couple of laps to go, and it's Kim Alainen leading from Powell, followed by Drivers' Championship contenders Chadwick and Visser. We're into the closing minutes of the race here in Assen. Emma Kimmelainen leads, 
Whilst further down the field, Jamie Chadwick's current position of third means it's looking like she'll have to wait until the final round in Brands Hatch to try and seal the championship. Yeah, and Visser uh, still sitting there right behind Chadwick. I'm sure a little bit frustration as well because she definitely has more pace. Chadwick struggled a little bit with pace generally around about this circuit. She felt she had enough for qualifying over the one lap, but certainly over the race performance, then it hasn't been quite as strong as we saw in other events. But Visser is just not in a position as Chadwick got a little bit of a wobble on coming through the left-hander. That's 150 miles per hour left-hander. Fastest corner of the season, not just on this circuit. It's allowed Visser another attack and it gives a positive feeling and momentum. When you see the person ahead of you, you're fighting for the podium and also the championship makes a mistake. You know, right, oh, I've got another chance here. And Visser is on the back of Chadwick as we're now coming into the final parts of this race. Two minutes left on the clock. This battle continues. Can Bytesca Visser get the important points she needs to try and see if she can win the championship in the final race at Brands Hatch? Or can Jamie Chadwick hold on and still lead this championship. Emma Kimmelainen sets her fastest lap again. One minute 48 on the clock. Alice Powell still second. Jamie Chadwick third. But it's thing. What she can do here, Alan. She's just not close enough, is she? No, not at this moment in time. She's, but she needs to keep that pressure on. She needs never to give up until that checkered flag drops. And even then, you never give up because there's another race that comes up after it in Brands Hatch. And it's only going to be by keeping that pressure on and squeezing a little bit. But up ahead, you can see Chadwick's now got a small focus on Alice Powell, who is now 4.6 seconds away from Kimmelainen in the lead. And Kimmelainen has just checked out. She's disappeared by over a second a lap in the last few laps. She comes into the final part of the lap up to 13, 14, as we see uh, the train as well following of Bytesca Visser and Jamie Chadwick. Be two more laps on top of this as it look, as it stands because that clock will click down, tick down rather, to 0, 0, 0, but it's 30 minutes plus one lap, so we get an extra lap. When it says final lap, um, the graphics will let you know and we will let you know as well, Alan. Here they go, they flash past our commentary box. 39 seconds on the clock. It's the penultimate lap. Can Bytesca Visser grab those important championship points? As she stands, she's a little bit too far back, but I would never, ever count anything out, Alan, in W Series. No, I wouldn't count it out, period, because, uh, you know, they're feisty in terms of drivers here. Um, but it's going to be a tough one as now Visser's made a mistake. She locked up the left front into the hairpin at turn five, and that's just given a little bit of breathing space for Chadwick. Chadwick looking in mirrors at the fastest point in the circuit and you get this feeling the car behind you is further and further away and it is in reality now because Visser has just made a critical mistake as uh, the clock counts down to zero so the next lap will be their final lap. It is 30 minutes plus one lap so Bicycle Visser still got time here as we see the locker. Yeah, left front just locked up, missed apex, ran a little bit wide. Then she couldn't get onto the power coming out of the corner. So you lost your apex speed in the left, but you also lost the momentum down the long straight to the very fast chicane. Emma Kimmelainen is on a race of her own as it stands. She is, she's pulled out an incredible leave, actually, Alan. I know you mentioned it earlier, but now looking at it, she's almost having a race on her own. Alice Powers uh, dropped back, but still, as it stands, will be on the podium. She'll be, I'm sure, happy with that as Emma Kimmelainen comes past the start, finish straight, and begins the final lap. As I look at the timing sectors, it's Kimmelainen, 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 fastest in all three. She started on pole position. She didn't lead off the line, but uh, she got herself back into the lead by pressuring Alice Powell. And uh, now she's 5.3 seconds, and she's just going to run out the last part of this race. 2.78 mile circuit. I bet for her, this is going to be the most enjoyable 2.78 miles. So here we are then, the final lap of the penultimate W Series championship race next we go to brands hatch and it's going to come down to that we're going to have a champion crowned in brands hatch in a couple of weeks time will it be jamie chadwick will it be bites Gavissa? one of the two are going to win this championship emma kimmelainen looks like she's taken a commanding lead here and is going to win this race but jamie chadwick and bites Gavissa are the ones to watch now half a million dollars on the line as well as that w series trophy and it's going to come down to the final race of the season. So here comes Emma Kimmelainen now coming through the final, uh, the second sector, through 11 up towards 12. 
Yeah, just at the end of the lap. She's just got a, basically a couple of corners now, the flat out left hand and then the final chicane. And then she will be the fourth winner in, uh, sorry, the th yeah, the fourth winner in W Series. Here she comes then. She comes past the final chicane into turn 16, 17 and 18. She was on pole position. Emma Kimmelainen becomes the fourth different winner in W Series. She hasn't raced half the season, but she'll take that win. Alice Powell is going to be on the podium as well. She takes second place. Jamie Chadwick extends her lead from Bicekavissa by 13 points. The championship is going to go to Brands Hatch. And it's going to be one heck of a race in Brands Hatch in a few weeks' time as Woods and then Rosettes and Hawkins come through in fifth, sixth and seventh. Piria Garcia and Moore to round out the top ten. So Emma Kimmelina will come down on her cool down lap. You saw her, she was so pleased with that. She didn't race for two races and now she's just got her first win. She was very good in Norris Ring at the last time, but she really bossed this complete weekend with Polk qualifying and then the win. Jamie Chadwick extends her lead, but it's Emma Kimmelina who's on the top step. Well, what an incredible race. Emma Kimmelainen didn't take the lead from the start, but my goodness, she kept the pressure on. So when Alice Powell made an error, she was there and about to pounce. And I'm delighted to say that Emma has joined us. Emma, what an incredible race. You've had such a difficult season. What does this mean to you? We know you had to miss two races through injury. Yeah, uh, it means a lot, especially, well, I want to dedicate this to the doctors that helped me to hint up performance, their healthcare professionalists. And yeah, the two doctors at home, uh, <laughs> Petri and Yipe, they've made, made an amazing job to get me from the bottom of the bed up till here for winning a race. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. So after racing only half of the season, it's Emma Kimmelainen who comes back with a bang and takes her first win in W Series. After briefly leading, Alice Powell finishes in second. Jamie Chadwick extends her championship lead, uh, finishing in third. Baitska Visser in fourth. Caitlin Wood is fifth. At sixth is Gosia Redest. Hawkins is seventh. Piria eighth. Garcia and more round up the top ten. Esme Hawkey is 11th, just outside the points. Naomi Schiff in 12th. Sabra Cook 13th. 14th was Megan Giltz. Volven 15th. And Holbrook was 16th. Tasman Pepper and Mickey Koyama are both DNFs. So how does that leave the championship standings heading into the final race at Browns Hatch? Well, Jamie Chadwick leads by 13 points. Baitska Visser is second. Third is Marta Garcia out of championship title contention now. Fourth is Alice Powell. Fa fifth is Fabian Volvend. And then it's Kimmelein and Koyama. Moore, Pepper and Piria rounding up the top 10. And the top 12 battle of who will be back next year? Caitlin Wood is 11th, 12th is Sabra Cook. Then out of it at the moment is Redest, Hawkins, Hawkey, Kesley, Schiff, Bovey, Gilks and Shea Holbrook rounding up the top 20. So they get ready for the podium. There is Emma Kimmelainen and Alice Powell. And in front of them is Jamie Chadwick. Alan, I love this little part where they have a little chat between each other and talk yeah. about what happened in the race. Well, I think this particular podium as well, because they've all kind of won something this weekend, uh, is going to be a jovial one. There's times, I've got to be honest, when it's a little bit tense behind there, but uh, on this particular occasion, then uh, certainly Kim Elinen did deliver. On the other side of it, Alice Powell, I think, had a fantastic weekend as well. Jamie Chadwick, she was able to defend her place as uh, Allard Kalf there is giving her a third-place trophy. Yeah, legendary Dutch racing driver and broadcaster. Next is... Uh, Alice Powell coming out to take her second place trophy. Gives a little, uh, nice little um, congrats to Jamie Chadwick. It's Rene Rast there, the leading DTM driver for Team Rosberg Audi. He's a uh, second time he's been on the podium today. He already got third in the race, second in the ra third in the race today as Emma Kimmelainen comes out and high fives all round for the Finnish driver who stands on the top step. Akim Kostron, the manager director of DTM, hands her trophy over. And a very happy finish driver there. Smiles all round from the three drivers as we wait for the national anthem of the winning driver.
Congratulations to the top three drivers. Let's grab a word with the highest placed American driver, Sabra Cook. She had a tough day at the office with a drive through penalty. Pretty frustrating, uh, especially since I had good pace in the race to, to, to be in the top 10 at least. Um, so it is what it is, but um, I guess I'm just going to take away the positives on the fact that I was able to, you know, run fifth fastest time on my own. And I'm definitely just going to kind of go into brands and just focus on performance and only focus on what I need to do and just kind of let the points take care of themselves. With Assen done and dusted, the drivers head to Brands Hatch in three weeks' time for what will be a championship finale between Jamie Chadwick and Bites Gavissa. Who will be crowned the inaugural W Series champion? We'll find out then. The whole grid starts to turn into their position. Emma Kimmelainen is on pole position and it's a brilliant start by Jamie Chadwick. There's a crash at the back, but it is Alice Powell who leads this race. This will be huge for the championship, and she's done it! Two huge battles happening in W Series. They're side by side, Emma Kimmelina has got a nose in front. Emma Kimmelina becomes the fourth 